right now. As we have identified the first presumptive positive case of coronavirus in Michigan. We're Michiganders. We're tough. We know how to take care of each other. We will get through this. That was Governor Gretchen Whitmer on this day exactly two years ago, confirming the first two cases of COVID-19 in Michigan. Two years later, and so much has changed. In that time, we've recorded over 2 million cases and over 32,000 deaths in our state alone. Patients dying, uh, you know, you, you just rapidly realize that people would come in, that no matter what we did for them, uh, that uh, we had loss of life. An insurmountable loss that will be felt for decades to come. Beyond that, we've experienced lockdowns, restrictions, closures, and more. A tough two years, however you cut it. But we've also seen incredible strides made in the fight against this virus. Life-saving vaccines and treatments, businesses persevering, and customers showing up to help them stay afloat. Customers just saying that they're going to come out and support whatever they can to keep these small businesses still here. Two years later, the focus for many now shifts to the next phase, living with this virus and focusing on the future ahead. And good evening, I'm Josh Berry. And I'm Max Goldwasser. Over the last two years, navigating this virus has been a roller coaster for businesses. According to a January study by the Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association, 59% of owners surveyed said they had accumulated debt since March 2020. Beyond that, 47% said they fell behind on their expenses and 78% said their restaurant is less profitable now than before the pandemic. It's been a tough reality for thousands of Michiganders and Michigan businesses specifically. Our Lauren Coomer spoke with two owners about the challenges they faced and how they were able to persevere. For two Kalamazoo business owners, they say this is not what they would have expected when they first heard about the virus two years ago. But since then, they've had to push through, getting help from state and federal funds, but also getting creative. When we first heard about it is that, you know, I guess we knew that it was going to be like a bad uh, season for health but never did we ever expect to get shut down. Owning two restaurant bars at the time, Harvey is on the mall in Old Peninsula Brew Pub. Stephen Blinn says at first he and his wife didn't panic, but then restrictions were put into place. Businesses closed and opened and closed again and reopened. Thankfully, we've always had a to-go business format, but we weren't ever totally to-go. So to learn that in the matter of you know, on the on the go rather quickly and to adapt. So that was that was probably the biggest challenge for Jessica Thompson, who owns Be Joyful Shop, the first zero waste and refill store in Michigan. She was working on opening a storefront during that time. Panic sets in because I do have money invested and time and I've quit my job um, to start this venture. And all of a sudden the you know, everyone's saying, oh my goodness, we're the state shutting down. Everyone is staying home. At that time, they just had a small following from farmers markets and other shows they attended over the years. She says they had to get creative, focusing on online sales and even starting up a TikTok account. People just were so interested and intrigued with the concept and the products that the sales that we from TikTok actually helped save our business during the shutdown. But for restaurants, things were a little more difficult, even with takeout and to-go drinks. Lynn and his wife had to make the hard decision to shut down Old Peninsula Brew Pub before they were spread too thin. We had uh, all these other variations of COVID that uh, hit. And, you know, Old Peninsula was a very big footprint. It was a 200-seat restaurant. And just what it took to keep that going and to keep Harvey's going. Even with PPP loans and other money given to help two years later, and it's still a struggle. You know, at the end of the day, we're just breaking even. So, you know, I mean, in that whole time frame, our cost of goods have gone up, the cost for employees have gone up. So, you know, even today, we're still operating a break even business. But Blinn says they're determined to make it through, focusing on Harvey's on the mall. Both businesses saying they appreciate the support they saw throughout the last two years. All of the people who have supported shopping local and um, just doing everything they can to make sure that we all made it through. It really 
it means the world to all of us. Both businesses are encouraged for what the next year brings, saying they have noticed that business has picked up similar to what it was back in March of 2020. Reporting in Kalamazoo, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. And thanks, Lauren.